Hey guys, what's happening? So, there's actually been a lot of, I've been looking online, there's a lot of debate about the uh, exhaust length here. Uh, coming from, not from the actual the carburetor to the fuel tank, but from the uh, exhaust to the actual fuel tank. And uh, the theory behind it is it's supposed to be like a, like a pulse or a damper, or dampener, uh, pulsation damper. So, as this thing is running, you get high you know, pressure pulses. And that's, just, that's what pressurizes the fuel tank to push the fuel back into the carburetor. Um, but some of that, it can actually create uneven fuel pressure, the pulses. So that's actually why I think a lot of these people actually created longer lengths. This actually was already on the actual car. But um, that was my theory behind it because this is kind of like a rubber band. Or like a, it absorbs the impact. Just because it's actually a stretchy material, the silicone rubber, the fuel tank. But... I'm also going to be adding a, uh, I designed this little mount here, using 360, 3D printed it. And this is actually a uh, exhaust uh, cooler. So I'm going to mount it right here. I actually have a new fuel line. I mean, this this, this is a, a Muga MBX5 Truggy. So it's definitely pretty old. Bought this on eBay about a year ago. I'm working on it. But, yeah, I thought I would uh, give it like a little, this thing was pretty cheap. It's only five bucks on AM, or, uh, um eBay. I'll put a link down where you can get it. But also I'll put a link where you can actually, if you want this holder. I mean, this is for a, a, a Mugen Truggy for the fuel tank, but I'm going to be designing a couple of different universal mounts for my other RC cars. I mean, doing the same thing. Um, I made this one specifically for this fuel tank. To fit like right there. And also, I also made another mount, I don't have it, that actually mounts to the exhaust pipe. So if you didn't have any good place to mount it, there was no room, I also created a mount for uh, that mounts to the exhaust pipe and holds it out of the way. So. I'm going to get this on there. I'm going to put some new fuel on in there, too. All right, so when I designed this, my thought was I would pop it in here like that. And then by sliding the hose in, I'll show you that, it would actually prevent this thing from coming back out again. Like, the it would, the diameter would be too big to pull back out through. I'll show you that. But, yeah, I made that hole right there the size of the, what's it called, the, uh, the diameter of this. All right, so I have a couple different, I have some blue silicone. Uh, you want it to be kind of transparent so you can see the uh, fuel going through. And I got some Kyocho gray stuff. I actually got the wrong diameter. I wanted it to be thicker. There's only 2.3 millimeter inside diameter. But it was made in Japan, so that's kind of like, man, kind of bummed I couldn't use it. So. Alright, so this was a. I'll put a link down below, but this is like GPS racing camp, but it's the nicest one I saw. I mean, it definitely had the most surface area, the largest fins on it. Oh, another thing too is uh, when I designed this thing. I wanted to keep it nice and tight, so I created a, a spot, if I can get it through there, it's a thicker pipe, but uh, I can get the fuel pipe through here, the, under there to keep it nice and tight and away from the exhaust. Okay, so when you have the tube on there, it prevents this from coming up, and also, it kind of acts almost like a, like a lock almost, so yeah, this thing won't come up once the actual tube is on there. there. Alright, so if you want this part, I'll make my thing reverse, but I think it looks pretty good. Let's see this here, it's out of the way. And uh, now I have the uh, cooler. Yeah, I think it's definitely the nicest looking cooler. You know, the biggest fins on it. Put a link down below where you can get this thing, but yeah, I think you can get an Amazon or, or eBay. Looks pretty good. Awesome.